is a um, again a texture paste so I'm going to just lay down the texture paste as you've seen me done previously awesome now what I'm going to do with that stencil or that template still in place I'm going to grab some sprays and I'm going to spray on top of this before I remove the template so again color, going in with that same color palette I've got that beautiful turquoise so I'm just going to mist that down and the candy pink going to pop that down as well and might just add a tinty little bit of the green in that corner all right that's all I want to do there then I'm going to take what looks like an amazing mess up nice and quickly to reveal an absolutely beautiful background now tell me how could you not love that that beautiful raised multicolored elements it's just gorgeous as always wiping away the excess with our hands and then we're going to dry that off and create our last little card with this technique but before I go what you can do here if I can grab a piece of card from somewhere and let me see this will do just got a bit of card here just scoop up all that yumminess into a card let's see what will happen I predict it's going to be yummy what about you yes I can definitely use that so that's a bonus I'm going to play with that later we're not going to make that up today because we've got to end playing sometime and go and make the dinner um, but I will show you how I'm going to decorate that previous one card what I decided to do was to tear little bits out to make a card just using little elements of that last page so I just simply tore some down the middle and I can just now glue that onto this card this is going to be a real quickie just gluing that down. Oh, let's pop that about there, about two thirds. Okay, and I've got a little bit of the corner that I um, tore off, and I will stick that in the corner. Um, and then for the, uh, that's what I'm going to do. This is going to be a real clean, simple little card, but I think it'll be quite pretty. In my mind, it's going to be pretty, but we will see how it comes out. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to take um, some stamps, and this is a stamp from Kaiser Crafts, latest um, little one, and it's got this happy birthday. It's a lovely little set here. And this has been released in March and goes with this beautiful collection I've been using today. And I really love this happy birthday one, which I haven't used yet, so this will be a first. Um, so I'm just going to pop this into my Stampaholic. I love that it's so flowy and it's just, it's actually really nice and it's nice and big too. So that looks about right to me. So I'm going to ink that up. Okay, so... Use my blocking pad here. Okay, and then just rubbing that down. Just get a bit of a cloth here to. I usually use a roller, but I haven't got my roller. Okay. How pretty is that stamp? I love it. It's so flowy, and it really goes with this kind of water washed collection. So, happy birthday! So how else can we finish this one off? Um, oh, look, I've got here from what I was using previously, I've got a, um, another flower, so I think maybe we could... Oh, I've got a bit of ink there, so I'll have to hide, some, hide that with something. Um, and let's grab... Let's just keep these white and white. So I've got some more of these beautiful die cuts. Let me see if I can be strategic and cover my black ink. Yep, I can do that. So I'm going to put a few of these in here. Yeah, I think that will work well. Yeah, should we had a little bit, let, let's put a little bit of the cheesecloth down. Okay, getting the picture, yep, I think that's going to work, so let's go for that. So, cheesecloth down first, a bit of ink down to hold it. Popping that on. 
Okay, we'll come back and, and sort that out in a minute. The flower goes down next. It's one of those lovely rolled flowers we made earlier. Flower goes down next, and then we can poke underneath these beautiful double vines. I really like this dye. I can see I'm going to be using this lots. It's just perfect for the flowers. That's a real nice softness. And see how I've covered my little black mistake over there from my ink pad? So we never have real mistakes. They're just opportunities to use our embellishments. So that goes down there. That looks pretty. Um, of course, now do I have another vine somewhere that I can use? Doesn't look like I have. Um, so I know we can get another bit of string and do one of those stringy bows that we did earlier. So again, just a bit of the Kaiser Craft twine here, folding that in half, doing a little bunny ears bow, keeping it very simple. And then with the ends, just pulling one of the end so that you're going to make oops, one of the bows slightly smaller and then do the same with the other one and then just chopping off. There, but you can tie any little double bow, I'm sure you know how to do those. Um, I think that will be pretty just in here, so a bit more glue going in there to hold this. And I'm just going to pop that under there, get my tweezers to give that a little nudge. That looks pretty. And what else can we put on there? Oh yeah, look, I um, sprayed, yeah, they're pretty. I sprayed from that beautiful flourish pack. Um, the little leaves, so I've got two of these, so I think I'm going to add those in too for that burst of colour. So this is a real quickie card, but I think it's going to look so pretty. Mm, let's put that there. No, I want that to go down a bit. Yeah, that's nice. And then I've got one more here. I know we should work in odd numbers, but I've got the twine which makes up the third element here, so that's okay. And this one we'll put underneath that twine, just poking out there. Nice. Pretty. Um, and let's go for a bit of splashing. Um, mm -mm -mm. What colour? Let's go for the pink, I think. So we'll go for the candy. You've seen me do this before. So down with a bit of the, this, um, let's grab my paintbrush, yes that's still around, some water and just some tiny little flicks against a pen just to add another little bit of softness to it. Oh yeah, that's nice. I might try and get some on top of that little rose too. But you know, whenever you try and aim for some somewhere, it never goes there. But that looks great. Okay, there's a lot of shadow here. It's actually getting quite late, so um, I can see the sun coming down. But that's that card. You know, you could sprinkle a couple of beautiful little diamantes among that mix, but I think that's lovely, really nice. And I must show you, when I turn the camera off, that was the first lift off that I got from the remnants of that card. And I did a second press, and that was what I got with the second press. So I can definitely use those two backgrounds. So remember to use those leftovers. And just before I um, head off, just a little tip on your dies. So not on your dies, on your um, stencils. It's really important to wash them as soon as you've used the texture paste. Um, so after you've washed them, what I tend to do is just grab a towel, tea towel. I just wash them in sudi, sudi water. If you can't get to wash them straight, straight away, have a, t uh, a little tray or something with warm sudi water in it so you can just drop them in. And then once I've done that, don't rub them, pat them. So just patting them all over. Because the last thing you want to do is to, is to kind of turn back one of those delicate little fronds and that will have the texture paste and something trapped under it which might, might spoil your look. So look after those little guys.